How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Liberty Hour, streaming through Spruker Studio and the 16 Jackson AJ1 Twitter account. I am back after a short break, and um, uh, we've got a few other things I want to talk about on this uh, before we get kind of head towards down the end of the podcast. Um, and uh, before I actually get into the stock market, as I mentioned, which is something I wanted to talk about with Michael, I actually wanted to still bring everybody in for uh, this one uh, question, which is, uh, and I'll go ahead and start with Ricky on this one. Um, what is one thing that you miss the most um, due to what's happened with this virus uh, that now you can't do or that you weren't able to do before? What's one of the things you miss the most um, because of what's going on? This is going to come as a big shocker to everybody. But I miss Sac State, dude. I miss everybody over there, like all the friends I had, all the people Next like I was person. close to at the Next radio station. Person. No, no, it's you, boo, this you, dude, whatever this it is. school. I don't know, it's weird. Like, the commute over there, like, it just feels like a big part of my life that I hated so much is, like, finally gone, and it's, like, weird. It's, like, when you break up with somebody or something that you didn't know you needed to break up with. Are you trying to This is the most low-key way of breaking up with <laughs> Like, I don't know. It's, Ricky, it's all the respect, like, you wanted that effing I'm getting with <laughs> Because, like, even uh, though, like, I'd always walk around with my earbuds and stuff, I just miss, like, seeing everybody just all gathered up, like, talking and, like, freaking out about an exam or, like, playing some, like, Ultimate Frisbee. I, I used to see a lot of people play Ultimate Frisbee at Sac State. I just miss, like, the community. But I guess that's more so because, like I said earlier in the show, now I feel like I'm more stuck inside of my room, always having to keep up with homework and laugh. So I feel like I have it worse than some majors. So this this probably isn't the case for some of you guys, but like I just feel like because I'm always here, I just miss like actually going out there and being able to like talk physically to professors and people in my class and like get help and just go and eat lunch and just talk about stupid stuff or have my show. So I really, I really do miss the school and all the stuff that was involved with it. Well, I, I don't miss the commute, but I definitely have to agree with you in terms of uh, missing uh, being on campus a little bit. I definitely have to agree with you there. It was really weird. Um, that Thursday, which was the last day that we were on, you know, when we knew earlier that morning that uh, we were moving to online classes, it was really weird when I left because I was like, this is like the last day I'm going to be here. But and so I was like looking at everything. I'm like, this is actually the last time I'm probably going to see this place because, you know, for me, I'm graduating, you know. At the, oh, yeah, that's the right. Semester, dude. You're not going which, back. Exactly. I'm graduating at the end of the semester. But I mean, of course, now, you know, commencement's been postponed. Um, but, uh, you know, it was really a weird experience being like, that's not how I expected my college career to end, but you know, that's the case for a lot of people. Um, Michael, what's, uh, one of the biggest things that you're missing or that you've missed, um, that's been closed down, shut down or what, whatnot, um, because of what's been going on with this virus. Yeah, it's kind of similar to Ricky's because... Like the like the routine I have, what really helps me just in terms of getting off my butt is like going to the gym, uh, and and that's shut down. Like I can still work out from home and stuff, but it's like the routine of going there and and working on the machines and like and having everyone around you doing the same thing is really motivating. And then mm-hmm. I leave and I be more productive when I go home. And, and same thing with work. That's kind of like why I work is to get to get moving and to be more productive outside of those things, right? So that that just kind of makes me more lazy overall. But it also helps me work on it without it. But then again, I don't really – that doesn't really help me that much, you know? I, I've seen a lot of people who have been like posting workouts from home on like their social media and stuff. Um, do you have like any machines? It's a lot you, different. I was gonna say, do you have any like machines at your house or anything that you've been doing to you know kind of help with you know working out from home? Have you had you know kind of any makeshift workouts or things that you've been working on in that realm? Yeah, so I have like a, a dumbbell and I have like two fifteens on it, and I just go ham with it and. It's really annoying just using that one dumbbell, but that's what I do. And then I have a little pull-up bar, but besides that, it's just like getting out, doing whatever. But I've, I've definitely been on my grind a lot less. I've been making less progress, so it's, it's like that. I don't know how much like cardio you do, but have you gone on any like walks or runs around your neighborhood? Or have you gone on any hikes or anything like that? Have you done anything in that realm? 
Well, like we've we've been going out and and, and uh, playing tennis and basketball and doing that well, a lot. That's true. Yes. So that's 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 been good. But I have been considering going on a run. Uh, so yeah, not let, yet though. You let me know because I'd be down. Um, but uh, <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> six uh, feet apart. Yeah, six feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you you might have to be on the other side of the street because I'll be right into what you breathe. So, <laughs> <laughs> true um, though. I don't know how it, how it works like that. Well, yeah, you never know. Um, uh, uh, Aaliyah, uh, what's something that you've been missing most uh, because of what's been going on with this uh, virus? Well, I was gonna say hanging out with Rick, but that just changed. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing a live breakup with Christian and Aaliyah. No, no, no. We, but we know okay. used to go out to play. I, I, I never thought this day would come. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> we're gonna talk about this later um no but me, me and ricky used to go out a lot just randomly to random places and just like do funny stuff in the store like just i don't know so those are really fun yeah. to do but now we can't hmm? hey can one of, can one of yeah. you guys leave the back door open tonight i don't think i'm sleeping home today <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, <clears throat> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but also, I really do miss the kids I used to work with at school. Like, I really love them. And we'd always, like, play games together. And they'd, like, confide in me to, like, talk with them. And it was just, like, a big family of all these crazy kids. And I really I really miss, like, every day going there. And then be like, Miss Aaliyah, what's up? And I'm like, oh, what's up? And it was it just, I really miss that for sure. Because it's definitely working there made me feel, like, like I had a purpose and like a responsibility, and now I kind of feel like I still do, but I don't. So wait, it kind wait, of feels wait, like it's missing. Like Miss Jade? No, it's Miss Aaliyah, bro. Does she use the last name? No, we all of us use our first names. Well, that's not her last it's name, anyways. That but way. Um, but yeah, but uh, what is your last? Oh well. I'll no. Ask. I'll ask you later. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyways, on the airways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, no, 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 but you bring up a good point. You know, you talk about like having a purpose and stuff, being at work, and you know, I, that's actually the, the the one thing that I've been missing is actually is being at Top Golf and you know, being at work. Because you know, regardless if it was talking to coworkers and striking up a conversation when times were slow, or if it was taking care of people and you know, feeling like I had a purpose, doing something there, you know, and keeping myself busy and, and you know, making money while doing that. You know, I, I do miss that in, in a realm. And, and you know, there were, there's times you know throughout my job is I'm sure it is for a lot of people's jobs where you know you kind of dread it in certain realms or you hate the workplace politics side of things or whatever the case may be um but you know I, I do miss actually working and that's one of the things I think I have missed the most throughout you know uh these last couple of weeks as you know things are you know ha- have been going in the you know south direction um but uh and, you know, you you brought up. Uh, I know we t- we talked a little bit earlier about uh, you know hiking or getting outside and stuff. And I, I believe uh, I, either you or Ricky told me you guys went on a hike to Hidden Falls last Friday. You said it was uh, pretty busy there, oh. but overall, like how how was that? Was it like pretty cool to get outside and you know go on a hike out there? Um, it, was there like a lot more people than usual? Do you, that you noticed or like overall, just how was that being able to actually get out in uh, nature? You know, to do something outside while you still could. It was amazing. Also, there was a lot of people in the beginning, but we went on this trail that I don't think was really a trail. <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of got lost. Uh, there was a caution tape, but, really but like the caution tape was like leaning downwards, like somebody ripped it. <laughs> so we so went was, under it. Yeah, I'm like, because like we saw some guy riding a BMX or not a BMX, a mountain bike, a bike that passed by it. And then I was like, well, nobody's actually walking on there, but the caution tape is down, so maybe we can go and you know if they're obviously behind it on bikes maybe it leads somewhere and uh it plot twist or spoiler alert we walked on it for like 25 minutes and didn't lead anywhere except for all the way across from where yeah, we were I have at no idea where we went but it was fun <laughs> um uh, how, how was the walk back up because I, I know that regardless of which route oh, you take to get back up to the parking lot it's <laughs> hell well, i used to do runs there so ricky, i'm gonna you, take you one. Can, you can ask her yeah i'm like no that's all yeah you ricky take. okay so the dude kept finding like little like quick what are they called what is what is that called like like, yeah quick shortcuts but they were like they're vertically uphill and i was about to kill him because oh my goodness it's like the small dirt one 
And then, oh, get this. Yes. And then he was walking towards the picnic benches. And I was like, thank goodness, I'm going to get a break. And he, like, flips around and runs uphill. And I had to follow him. It was the worst. Oh, oh my God. Sorry. Um, <laughs> did, <laughs> did, now, dude. going back got, up. I got so, a real workout in. Now, now, going back up, obviously, as you cross that bridge to head back up, there's the route that goes to the left that kind of zigzags and is a little bit longer. Or there's the more steeper route to the right that's a little bit less distance. Which route yep. did you guys choose to head back up? We did. The right one, the steep one, and then on top of that, instead of going up the dirt trail, we went on a literal, like, grassy hill that just went straight up. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. I, that's not fun. Yeah, I remember having you used to do runs there, and I, I used to have to do runs there when it was hot outside, like, too, and we had did, like, hill repeats, not on that hill, but on another hill. And, uh, yeah, it's just really bad. But, I mean, the best part about it is, you know, the which I don't know if it was open or not because I don't think it's open now, but the overlook to, like, the waterfalls and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, we were on those. Okay, cool. So they still had them open when you guys were there. Um, yeah, the overlooks to those yeah. are so beautiful and really nice. And that's uh, one, of, one of the best parts uh, about it is to go down there. And it, it just is a really peaceful feeling. So that's cool. And hopefully you Have know, you ever – Go ahead. Ha- have you ever etched your name in there? I have not. Like, you know, people yes. like write their names. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, um, I want to, I want to go, <laughs> I want to go on a hike, uh, <laughs> over there, uh, sometime within this next week. And hopefully it's still open by then. Um, I know that it's still open at this moment, but that's really cool. And you know, that, you know, as we've it mentioned, it's important be. to, yeah, it's, it's important to, you know, get out and do what you can while, while we still can. Um, I know Folsom Lake is actually still open too. And I know, heard some people saying that place should be shut down. So we'll see what happens. You know, you know, it's an ever changing time, of course, for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, transitioning out of that, um, and this is going to go into part five, but I wanted to, uh, to completely kind of switch gears here. I wanted to talk with, uh, Michael, cause I know that he, uh, is, well, he's not right now, obviously because of how crazy things are going, but you know, you're very, you know, invested when it comes to stocks and stuff like that. And you have a decent idea of how that stuff works. And, uh, I've been learning, <laughs> no, no, we're still gonna be talking about something after this. We're good. Uh, but I've, um, been, uh, <laughs> I, I've been learning, you know, a, a lot about how certain things work with it because I've been watching it on a day by day basis as uh, it was crashing in the last three days. Of course, it's gone up quite a bit. Um, but uh, right. I guess I was going to I'll go ahead and ask you, you, you Michael, because um, uh, originally when we were talking about it, you know, a few weeks back when it was just starting to kind of get big in America, you you were saying, you know, oh, it, this is a bit overrated. And of course, that's what I, I think uh, some people might have thought of right away. And then, of course, it kept dropping. So. Overall, when did you realize that this was going to have a big impact on the financial market? And um, and and I guess that uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and start with that. When did you realize it was going to have a big impact on the financial market? Well, I I knew from the jump that it was going to spread everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. I I knew this, and what I what I realized how it would affect the markets and stuff like that is when other people didn't didn't really. Like, it's obvious that it's going to spread, but they're not really thinking about it. And they're not really like, oh, it's eventually going to come to that. So as the numbers get higher, as more people start talking about it, as more people realize, then the markets keep dropping, even though that's what was going to happen from the jump as soon as we had enough cases in the U.S. So uh, when I when I realized how uh, ignorant a lot of people were, how clueless mm-hmm. they were, that's when I realized I was going to keep dropping. And just now it's starting to pick up a little bit, but I don't think it's going to last long. I think it's just a little bit of good news and it's going to drop back down. Okay, so I don't get this whole stock market thing, but like, is now a good time to buy a house or no? (laughs) (laughs) Well, the the stock stock market and the housing market are completely separate. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's as far as my knowledge goes then. (laughs) uh, Mortgage rates, I believe, are still pretty good, but uh, the housing market right now is really a seller's market. And with how uncertain it is right now, it's it could be a good time to buy a house. It could be a bad time. You really don't know. And, and but it doesn't it doesn't flow with the market. And we will be talking a little bit about that too, because I I know that you uh, 
have uh, been trying to, you know, get things going w- with that realm in terms of trying to actually get a place, and we'll be talking about that in a second. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah. well, shoot, I was actually going to ask you another question. I just realized I'm down to, like, 30 seconds left in this part. So I'm actually going to go ahead and end this part right here. We'll be right back for part six, talk a little <laughs> bit more about the stock market, talk a little bit about uh, Michael's plan to possibly be getting a house sometime soon, and then talking about a couple other things awesome. before we end this podcast. So we'll be right back with more of the Liberty Hour right after this.